Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to this update video, big announcement thing. There's a lot of different things I want to talk about, so please stick around to the end, because they all kind of flow into each other kind of well, kind of even. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but um, I actually have a little cheat sheet thing, so I remember what I was supposed to be talking about. Uh, first on the list is Blue Side Defense 5 Deluxe Edition, 200 RAM challenge thing. Um, I kind of slacked on the videos a little bit, um, just this week, uh, I didn't post all the videos, or I didn't record all the videos, because, like, two weeks ago, I recorded, like, a week and one day, uh, a worth of videos, because I figured during that week and the one day, I would have enough time to record another week and a day or so. Unfortunately, I didn't really have that time, I mean, I probably did, but just didn't really use the time very well, um, so that's why this week I only had the one video up. Uh, I think I posted that one video. Should have. Might have not, but should have. But, um, anyways, uh, so the way I'm thinking about doing that is I'll probably just post like four videos next week, um, just to get to like an even 25, because uh, I think that's the 25th, or that might be the 26th. Yeah, that's the 26th. So I'd go up to 30. Um, but I do obviously want to continue Blue Stars 5 Deluxe Edition 200 RAM challenges. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take me a year or more to actually finish all 200 RAM challenges because of all these times where I'm not able to record so many videos at once or um, not able to be consistent with it. Because I'm not really good at doing something once a day uh, because I have work and family. So then every day doesn't offer me the same amount of time to record and do things. Uh, so that's why I was record in bulk. Um, meaning that I'll record like six or seven episodes one day and then just set that to record for that week or set that to upload for one week and a day or two so that during that day or two of the next week I have a time to record another seven or so episodes. Um, so that's how I do that if you're ever wondering about that. Um, uh, viewer challenges. I'd like to do some viewer challenges, but I'm really not good at finding time to record them because I do record all the other episodes in bulk, and then throwing on a viewer challenge on top of that kind of messes with it. Um, I will try to do one more uh, before the end of September, but I'm not really like asking you guys for requests. Uh, obviously, if you do really want me to do a viewer challenge, then sure I can try to fit it in like once a month. But um, I'm I'm not really like asking you to give me any more requests, but again, it's okay if you do request some. Um, but, second topic, live streams. Uh, some of you may not know, I know that obviously some of you do know, uh, I've been doing live streams for like the past month or so, uh, and I've been putting them on YouTube, which should know, because <laughs> I've uploaded the video saying it's like September 9th live stream or whatever. Um, I live stream on Twitch. Uh, which, if you don't know what that is, it's another website specifically for live streaming games. Um, and that's a really nice website for me to be able to live stream, have a chat on the side for you guys to interact with me with. Um, and uh, the reason why I live stream on Twitch rather than on YouTube is because on Twitch, one, it's specifically designed for live streaming games. Um, and two, it has uh, only a 15 second delay between like the chat and what's live video or whatever. Uh, rather than YouTube having like a 40 or 45 second delay, uh, which obviously isn't a huge deal, it's just 30 more seconds, but it can be kind of a big delay uh, when, you know, you're trying to interact with someone and then like you have to wait 45 seconds. It's kind of like emailing or texting, kind of, rather than actually just having conversation, which Twitch is a little bit more like having conversation, even though there's like that 15 second delay. Um, so that's a little bit better. I'll have a link to my Twitch live stream stuff down below, and uh, I should be live streaming about once a week, usually someday between Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or between Tuesday and Thursday, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, uh, because Monday is usually when I just record in bulk, and then Friday I'm not able to do it, so then Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday is usually when I live stream, uh, usually for about three to five hours, uh, from about 10 a.m. to around three or four p.m., roughly, um, and that specific standard time. Uh, there should also be a time zone converter thing in the link below um, if you want to check that out uh, in order to figure out what time it is for you. Um, I should be posting this video at noon or 12 p.m. Uh, so then whatever time it is for you at the time that it is, like if, if on YouTube it says like uploaded two hours ago or something and for you it's 2 p.m., which I don't think it should be 2 p.m. for any of you if it was uploaded two hours ago unless you live in the same time frame. Because then that would mean you're in the same time frame as me, I guess. I don't know. But um, you can use that to try to figure out what time 
it is for you. Uh, and actually, honestly, if you're watching this within like an hour or two of me posting it, I might still be live streaming because I do plan on live streaming Thursday because I'm recording this on Wednesday, posting it on Thursday, and I should be live streaming about the same time this video goes up. Um, so yeah, just throwing that out there. Obviously, if it's like Friday or Saturday for you, then I'm probably not live streaming. But um, anyways, just throwing that out there. Uh, for the live streams, I usually play Blue Star Defense Battles with anyone watching that wants to battle me. Usually about one battle per viewer, um, just so it doesn't take too long and stuff. Um, I also start off the stream now with Bloons Monkey City. I uh, just play that for about half an hour to an hour. Um, there was a helpful subscriber uh, that gave me uh, another account so I could actually start over in the city. Um, and he's actually helping like collect money and buy upgrades while I'm not playing because I never play Ninja QB games <laughs> other than videos and live streams. Um, so yeah, just letting you guys know about that. And I always record the live stream and then post it uh, the following weekend, Saturday. Um, so tomorrow or today for you, uh, the live stream that I'm recording on Thursday, I'll be posting that on Saturday. Um, that way people who aren't able to make it to the stream because I don't really stream at a good time for a lot of people. Um, so that way if you don't make it to the stream you can always just watch it in the weekend if you want to watch it. And I've been putting ads on it, like hopefully if I'm doing it correctly, it should be like every 30 minute there should be a little ad. Uh, let me know if you guys like really don't like that because I mean I don't want to just like throw a bunch of ads and make a bunch of money and like you know spend a bunch of your time like that. But honestly I would like YouTube to be my full-time career eventually. Uh, obviously I know that right now with the current subscribers that I have it's not gonna happen. I need a lot more subscribers and I'm not I really don't want to make this into like a big oh hey I need subscribers like and favorite all my videos and share it with all your friends and all your social media and like I don't want to be that guy that just asked you to share this video everywhere before I even start the video because I've seen a couple a couple YouTubers that do stuff like that and it's really annoys me even as a content creator like I get that they're trying to make money and make this a living and all that but just the way that they go about it makes it feel so much more like a business than an actual like interaction between us or between the viewer and the creator or whatever but um so I really don't want to get into that mindset I want to keep myself from getting into that mode but obviously I do want to put ads on my videos so that I can get some money off of it because that's kind of the point. But um, again, I want to make sure I'm not going down that path. So if for any reason you think I'm putting way too many ads on my videos or something like that or I'm trying to make it, like trying to sell myself to you, I guess, uh, then let me know in the comments <laughs> or if... I know one of you has my email. I'm not sure if you still watch my videos or not, but I did give one of my subscribers my email. Not sure why, but anyways. <laughs> anyways, moving on. Um, to find out whether or not when I'm going on live streams and stuff, um, I usually post a YouTube video the day before, uh, if not like the day of, and just let you know like, oh hey, tomorrow or in a few hours I'm going to be live streaming, and I usually give the rough time, and I'll usually upload a video when I actually start uploading, or when I start live streaming, saying that I am live streaming. And then once the live stream is over, then I take those videos down because I don't want to just have a bunch of videos up on my channel that are just, oh hey, I'm live streaming, when like if a year from now someone's going back and watching my videos, then you know having those videos of just the live stream is kind of pointless to them. Uh, so that's why I always take those videos down a day or two after um, the live stream is over. But uh, because I've been doing that, anyone who wasn't on YouTube at that time doesn't know about my live streams. Uh, so that's why I'm making this video to give you guys a big update. Hey, guess what? I live stream. Uh, and then also, you can follow me either on Twitter or on this new social media site called player.me, uh, which is like basically Facebook for gamers, if that makes sense. Like it's a specific social media for games or gamers and games, I guess. Um, you can follow me on there. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I'll try to remember to put on that player.me, like, because I can actually post like a status message rather than an actual video, just saying like, oh hey, I'm live streaming from this time to this time. And because it's more of a social media, uh, like Twitter or Facebook, um, then it doesn't really m matter if I keep those kind of messages up there, uh, rather than like if I kept the video up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, you can follow me on player.me, just as another way you can contact me or keep in touch with me or keep up to date with the stuff I do, uh, stuff like that. Now, um, yeah, the next two topics I have are kind of related pretty closely. Uh, Patreon, uh, if you don't know, 
is a website that is kind of like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, where you can support your favorite content creators, um, but it's more of a monthly subscription or like a per video subscription, which for me, I prefer if you did monthly because I post like way too many videos a week <laughs> for you to actually be able to afford paying me per video. Um, so there is a per month option. Uh, I honestly would recommend at least $5 a month, not because I want $5 a month, like I mean obviously $5 a month would be nice, but I'm not just trying to get more money out of you, it's because uh, it goes through PayPal, I think, or any kind of PayPal-esque um, website, whenever they accept money, like from a donation or from subscriptions, stuff like that, uh, they have to take a small percentage as a processing fee because it like they actually are doing something They're not just like taking your money and handing it off like there's an actual like I said processing fee so if you pay like a dollar then it gets like 60 cents goes to PayPal and like 40 cents goes to me But if you spend like ten dollars, then it's like a dollar goes to them and like nine dollars goes to me So that's why I kind of prefer it's like five dollars maybe minimum you don't have to do five dollars minimum if you want you can spend a dollar a month that's totally fine the 40 cents is fine I, I don't want someone to feel obligated to pay a certain amount I don't want anyone to feel obligated to pay at all it's just only if you want to if you're able to if you think it'd be a nice investment it would definitely help me out um, to be able to save up for better equipment and games and stuff a little bit quicker um, obviously I know that of the 500 subscribers maybe one or two is going to donate like five dollars a month maybe so then that's like an extra ten dollars a month which honestly is not a huge mu a huge amount but obviously it is very appreciated because it is money out of your pocket that you're giving to me so I do appreciate that if any of you are interested in that I although <laughs> I should say I don't actually have one live yet I kind of started getting my profile ready for patreon but I didn't actually like make it live for people to donate because I didn't know how many people would actually donate and honestly even though I would appreciate the ten dollars a month, if it is just one or two of you trying to spend five dollars a month on me, uh, I'd kind of prefer not to then because I don't want those five dollars or those ten dollars to feel like just a wasted little ten buck a month type of thing. Um, but if maybe fifteen, twenty a month, that's a little bit better, I guess. Uh, if like four of you were willing to pay five dollars a month or twenty of you one dollar a month, something like that, then I might be willing to actually open up the Patreon for you to support me. If you wanted to, again, totally do not feel obligated to do it. Um, if it would put you financially unstable or in a financially unstable position, then definitely do not support me. I do not need the support. It's just if you feel like it, if it's something you can do. Um, and that leads into Minecraft because there's uh, a new server thing that you can do where you can um, make your own server basically for $13 a month. And I do have a job. I could afford $13 a month. I'm not going to deny that, but with Patreon, if you guys are willing, you could um, all together pitch in for $13 a month so that I could keep that stream open without having to worry about how it is affecting me with $13 a month, um, which actually I should mention, Patreon, it's not just that you spend money on me and that's it, you also get extra perks and like um, exclusive stuff for being a patron, depending on how much money you're um, donating. So. If it was a dollar a month, I would say that's like the base level where you get access into the Minecraft stream because I want to have the Minecraft stream be specific to um, be specific to uh, the, the patrons um, because the Minecraft server, I mean not the stream, uh, I want to build this massive monument, like a ginormous huge monument and it's not, I could go into a huge video about this on its own, it's not a monument to something like it's not this great thing deserves this massive monument it's like the monument itself is the great thing that deserves the monument if that makes sense just because I want to have this massive tower that I've already kind of built the foundation for and it really is huge uh, it's like a thousand blocks wide uh, by a thousand blocks tall I guess long um, it's pretty huge <laughs> so and I'm sure other people have probably built something bigger but uh, I would like a group effort on this rather than just me um, so if there's any of you willing to join in and build and help me build this massive monument uh, I was thinking of live streaming the actual building process and I'm not sure if I'd let anyone join the live stream to watch and then like only patrons get to join the server or only patrons get to join the server and only patrons join the live stream. I kind of feel like that's too uh, non-inclusive or like um, 
too exclusive, I guess. Uh, it would be better if anyone could watch the live stream of us building if they felt like watching it for some reason, and then you know, only the actual patrons can join because I don't want a bunch of grief and a bunch of people destroying the building because obviously this building project is kind of not really important, but I think someone just came home. Could be wrong. But um, anyways, going to try to wrap this up quicker. <laughs> um, basically, I would just like the patron only for Minecraft server just so I can actually keep people in check, basically. Um, but then also, I could also do like uh, once a month a patron exclusive stream for those that donate like five bucks a month or something like that where uh, you get a guaranteed uh, Blue Sovereign's battle with me or something like that. I don't know. They're just ideas uh, for any of you that are willing to pay to pitch in for Patreon. Uh, if you want to have like maybe a, a Skype call with me once a week or something because that's something that's popular on Patreon for some reason. Um, or uh, like I said, Boon Sovereign's Battles, or if there's some other game that is online that I could play with you, Minecraft 8 or something. Uh, I don't know. But um, that's basically it for Minecraft and Patreon. I can answer any questions that you guys have in like a follow-up video or just in the comments uh, if you want. But my final topic is my 3DS, which I don't actually have at the moment because yesterday I actually mailed it out to go uh, get the 3DS capture device. Um, so I kind of feel like a proud parent sending their kid off to culinary school so that they can come back and make good food for me. <laughs> kind of just an analogy because I'm sending off my 3DS to go get the capture device so that I can record videos off of it and stuff. But um, because it's the first time I've ever actually mailed anything ever, basically, uh, I also kind of feel like it's my kid's first time on a plane and I'm not sure if they're going to survive the trip. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's kind of a funny analogy to me. Uh, just because I care about that 3DS so much and because I downloaded so many games onto it, uh, which I actually kept the SD card here just to be safe. Um, but that 3DS is worth more than your average 3DS because of all the games that they put onto it and because of all the Pokemon that I have on it. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, so yeah, speaking of Pokemon, once I get the 3DS back, which should be this Friday or Saturday, maybe next Monday, um, once I get it back, I'll be able to record and or live stream Pokemon. Um, and the reason why I say and or live stream is because the program that I would have to use to record it would be the same program I used to live stream. So I could just live stream myself playing Pokemon, which I think I want to do, uh, even if like one or two people show up. Um, uh, I would like to live stream the Pokemon and then record that as well and put it into episodes. I'm not entirely sure how I'd break it up into like 20 minutes of episodes. Uh, even though the actual live stream is like two hours or something, or if I would just keep it to like two hour episodes and just post those like once a week on the weekend or something like that. Um, in addition to that, Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS comes out October 3rd, and I think there should be a demo coming out for North America uh, in like two days or something. I could be wrong, but I think the demo should be coming out for America for the public, because I know that the Platinum members were able to get it sooner, but um, I definitely like to at least live stream the demo or something, at least play it on my own, just practice uh, before the actual game comes out. And then when Super Smash Bros. comes out October 3rd, it would be like uh, October 2nd, like near midnight, uh, maybe like 10 p.m. I'm going to live stream Super Smash Bros. Like as soon as I download it, I'm going to play that thing until I pass out from exhaustion. Like I really love the Super Smash Bros. franchise and I am totally going to live stream as much as I can. Uh, and then... We'll just see how that goes. <laughs> and then uh, Pokemon, when that comes out November 21st, I think. Um, so yeah, any other 3DS games? Maybe Animal Crossing 3DS? Maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, or like Donkey Kong Country Returns uh, 3D. Or um, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Or any other 3DS games that you'd like me to get. Uh, I could do that <laughs> uh, for you guys as well. And I think that's all I want to talk about. Um... As far as I can think of, that's all I have on my paper right here. Uh, any other questions that you guys have for me, like pretty much any question as long as it's appropriate, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many comments as I can specifically on this video. Um, and I could just make a follow-up video the next week uh, if there's not enough questions answered or there's so many different people asking the same question, I might just make another video explaining the answer to that question. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, or this video, and I'm actually surprised at it going in a one-take video. That's going to be really helpful for me to not have to go through and edit this. But um, yeah, that's it for this update video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>